Neighborhoods near the Alafaya River saw nearly seven inches of rain during that storm. To protect the Edward Medard Reservoir, the county's released water into the Alafaya River. If you're in that low-lying area, there is a voluntary evacuation order. Angelina Salcido is live on the banks of the Alafaya tonight. And Angie, we saw deputies patrolling earlier. What are families telling you tonight? And they're still patrolling right now. They actually got here at around 5 a.m. and then continued doing those rescues throughout the morning. If you take a look behind me, you're going to see why they had to do those rescues. These are the boats that they're going out on. But the river, the Alfire River, has crested to a level that they have never seen here before. People are used to getting a few feet of water in this area, but they are not used to getting about four to five feet more than what they were expecting. So a lot of these people that live here have boats, they have ways to get out. Um, and so that's why that voluntary evacuation order is underway right now. We, we just rode on the boats a little long ago, a little while ago with the deputies, and we actually saw people that were still in their homes. That's because they're a little bit higher up than the other homes that are completely inundated with water. But really, the reason why they're staying there is because they want to make sure that they protect their homes um, because the water has not yet reached the point where it's getting inside of their homes. And again, they still have power. They're kind of used to doing this. We spoke to one guy who was saying, you know, I feel comfortable here. I've gotten a little bit wet, but I think that I'm just going to stay. Now, the sheriff's office does say that if people do end up feeling uncomfortable, feel like they have okay. just gotten to the point where they can't be here anymore, they can always yeah. call the sheriff's office to be rescued. While we were out on the boat, we spoke to one gentleman whose house is underwater. Take a listen to what he had to say. Flooding? Uh, shit, terrible. Ain't no good. I ain't think it can be like this, really. A lot of sad people. You know, a lot, it's terrible. It looks like a House is on a lake. It ain't no good. Now, he actually evacuated to get away from the storm. He went to Orlando, ended up coming home, and came back to this, something that was completely unexpected. Um, the sheriff's office, Sheriff Chad Cronister, was actually on one of the boats that rescued a 91-year-old woman earlier on today. And everyone's story is different, but at the same time, they are forming a community out here as they try to help one another get through this. It's going to take several hours for the water to go down, and the sheriff's office is going to continue being out here until it's safe for people to officially come back. The Lithia Pinecrest Road is going to maintain um, being closed for the duration of this time. We're live in Lithia, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay.